Hey everybody, how's everybody doing out there? We got Venom coming out. I should say it's already out now. It came out on Friday. And uh, so I wanted to make a quick video, some more Venom videos in, uh, in, in honor for the film. Plus I love talking about Venom. He's really the only Marvel character that I'm still kind of jazzed about. I mean, his books are, are still really, really good. Um, but anyway... So, I wanted to make a quick video about my top five favorite Venom video game appearances. Uh, <clears throat> I guess I'm not going to put them in any particular order, but I'll just, I'll just start prattling them off here. Um, let's start off with uh, Marvel Heroes Omega. That was a fantastic... I mean, it was a really fun MMO. I really liked what they did with his character in that game. Man, it was it was it was just really really fun, and the the alternate costumes like with uh, anti venom and hydra venom, and they had a bunch of other costumes in there that was really cool. Um, it was really neat that you got Agent Venom as a sidekick character. Although I'd preferred to have played as Agent Venom, uh, Venom was still just an absolutely an absolute delight being able to play as him uh, before the game went defunct. Um, PC players are really lucky they got to play with him a lot longer than the console. That's That was the only way I got to play was on the Xbox. Alright guys, so the next one uh, I'm going to have to say is um, Maximum Carnage for the Sega and the Super NES. It, it was I think that was the first time you ever actually got to play as Venom. And the game was really cool. You had Green Jelly as the, uh, as the who made the music for that video game. Uh, it, I always really liked his parts better than Spider-Man's. I just thought his parts were way cooler. Um, man, you just and just like you know, being able to like shoot out the symbiote and bind up people, and then you just like grabbing them and just throwing them around. That was so that was so cool. And like I liked like when he would shoot out the uh, the shield, it would like move around and throw. Oh, it was so cool. That was just so cool. Um, my next choice, I would have to say is uh, Ultimate Alliance 2, and while it's not Eddie Brock, it's it's the Mac Gargan Venom, who, who, as far as I'm concerned, is just a Venom, not the Venom. I mean, it's, to me, there's two The Venoms, and that's Flash Thompson and uh, Eddie Brock, as far as I'm concerned, those are the two guys. But, with Flash Thompson now as anti-Venom, I'm cool with that. Eddie Brock can be The Venom, and I'm happy with Flash Thompson being the anti-Venom. Just, I love I love that design. I love the agent the um, agent Venom design. But anyway, um, so I, I I would go with Ultimate Alliance two in this slot uh, because the upgraded graphics. I like the uh, his combat style is a lot different in it as compared to my next choice. Well, I okay, shouldn't say my next choice because. Uh, well, yeah, I can just go ahead because I'm not doing in any particular order. The next choice would be Ultimate Alliance 1. Uh, he was a DLC character, and you had different costumes for that one. You had uh, the Mac Gargan look. You had the classic look. You had the ultimate look. And there was... Um, uh, man, it's slipping my mind what the other one was. Ah, oh, it slipped my mind. There's But there's four costumes. Um... But those are the most significant ones. Is the ultimate, which is just uh, which, which kind of looks like the movie version. The movie, the movie version looks more like the ultimate costume, where it didn't have a spider. It just it was um, just had more like just scraps. You know, looks like like scrappy skin. They're just like flopping off. Um, anyway, so I would go with that one next because I just his, the combat style for him when that one was really fun. He has a lot more of a move set. Uh, a, a balance between tendrils and webbing, and, and uh, he was just just this badass brute character. I loved like when he would land, like he would like shake the screen, and like land. He would land with like a crashing thud. It was just that was really cool. Uh, another one of my favorites, video game appearances, I would have to say, is the uh, Disney Infinity 2.0 toy box Venom. That was such, that was, it was really fun. I mean, for like a kiddie version of Venom, that was a really fun way to play as Venom. Especially since it was, I don't, I mean, it probably wasn't the first one because I never played Spider-Man 3. 
I don't think you could play as Venom in Spider-Man 3, but this was, you could actually play as Venom in uh, a sandbox setting. So being able to web sling as Venom all around New York City, man, that was just a really fun time. That was that was so cool. I, I really I, I really do enjoy playing that game, uh, especially with Venom. So, but anyway, those are my top. My top five choices. Uh, I'm, those probably they don't have to be yours. Uh, if you have, if there's any other video game appearances of Venom that you really enjoy, comment down below. Um, did you do you guys like his you know his future fight character? Do you like his uh, separation anxiety? Which I would love to say that I would have had that one on my list, but I had I haven't. Okay, I've played separation anxiety, but not enough. I didn't own it because. We, I could never find it. That, that game was, I don't know, limited print or something ridiculous. But I never really got to play that one as often as I did Maximum Carnage. Because I owned Maximum Carnage as a kid. But um, comment down below. Let me know uh, what is your... I mean, what is... Uh, do you have an uh, just like the, the perfect Venom video game for you? Is it, you know, is it Ultimate Alliance, Marvel Heroes Omega? Was it, you know, are any of those... Alright, anyway, like I said, click, like, subscribe down below. Later, guys. Thanks.